have it, 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 have Happy Friday, come on! Good morning, Indian Creek. At this time, please take a moment of silence to reflect on the anticipated activities of the day. Thank you so much. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey, once again, good morning. Happy Friday, Panthers. It is Friday, January the 28th, 2022. And here are your announcements. Hey, before we get started with the announcements, you know, this, this video that we watch every Friday for Happy Friday, I would really like to see some of our students do a video like this. So if you have an idea of how to create a video and you can make it as catchy as that, so we are all celebrating Friday as a happy day, let me know. Record it and maybe your video will show up right here on Creek TV. All right. So today is a B day for connections, third, fifth, and seventh period uh, connections classes for today. Remember, uh, safety protocol is still in place. All right. You got to wear your mask, wear them appropriately over your nose and mouth. All right. Continue to keep your distance as much as you can and wash or sanitize your hands as often as possible. Keep those germs off your hands. All right. The boys will be playing in the New Rock League Basketball Championship game versus Davis this evening right here at the Creek. Game time is 7 p.m. Also at 5.30 tonight, the Edwards Patriots are going to be playing Liberty right here in our gym. Now, tickets are currently available on GoFan for each game. Tickets will be $6 for each game, and you must have the appropriate armband to be in the gym for either game. For students who will be attending the game, our students attending the game, you must leave campus and return for the boys game after six o'clock unless you purchase a ticket for both games. Okay, in an attempt for us to allow each fan base to see their respective game and to ensure COVID protocols are being followed, we will empty the gym after the girls trophy presentation for the champion, uh, the girls championship before allowing any fans into the gym for the boys game. We'll be housing folks in the cafeteria during that time. We'll have a couple of big panels in there with the broadcast of the girls game so people can watch that. But again, if you are staying for or want to come and watch the boys game tonight, uh, you can't be back here until six o'clock, but the only way you can stay on campus is if you have a ticket for both games and you'll need to be in uh, the gym in that area. Teachers, uh, we continue to need volunteers to ensure that the event runs smooth. Remember, uh, each teacher is required to work two events each semester. So please, uh, if you can stay tonight to help us out, that would be fantastic. All right, soccer tryouts are going to be held Monday and Tuesday, 
January 31st and 1st is February 1st. It's right around the corner. That's that's like right after this weekend, Monday and Tuesday from 4.30 to 6. Remember, you have to have a physical on file in order to participate in tryouts. And uh, Coach Gourlay is collecting all of those forms. So if you have your form today, drop it off to him. Make sure that you have a, a physical on file come Monday. Otherwise, you will not be able to try out for the team. The yearbook order center is now open. We've been posting that each, uh, each morning. So we wanna make sure that you are aware uh, to go to the yearbookordercenter.com and that you are ordering your things there, your books there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the yearbook information up on the screen for you so that you can um, have that information. Some of you may have not seen it over the last couple of days, but basically there you have it on your screen right now. It is the yearbook center, uh, ordercenter.com, and our school code is 15503. I remember the cost of the yearbook is $35, just the plain yearbook, if you want to put your name on the front of the book. So uh, if you placed it, put it down somewhere, uh, it would have your name on it. So, you know, take a look, think about that. Uh, some, oftentimes we have people lose their yearbook because they set it down and somebody else picks it up, name's not on it, it's worth the extra $5. So. Uh, think about that, $35 for without, $40 with your name. All right, today, you know, the last couple of days have been pretty important scientific dates in history, okay? Today marks the 36th anniversary of the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster, um, uh, and yesterday was the remembrance of the Apollo 1 disaster. Now, if you aren't familiar with either of these events, I strongly recommend that you do a Google search and learn more about our space program and the tragedies that, tragedies that have occurred in the name of science and exploration. Uh, did you also know that Elon Musk SpaceX um, has a, a piece of space trash that has been orbiting the Earth over the last seven years? And on March the 4th, uh, that one of those pieces of space trash is supposed to crash into the backside of the moon and leave an 85 meter crater uh, on the backside of the moon. And some of the other countries around the globe that are trying to um, are trying to get their spacecraft to be on the backside of the moon for that event. Uh, so maybe we will have a recording of that event. We'll see what happens. Um, they don't expect there to be any damage to the moon or change its orbit or anything like that, but it's still pretty interesting uh, to know that those kinds of things are going on. All right, at this time, I would ask that each of you join me in reciting the Panther Promise to remind us of what it is to be part of Panther Nation. I will be respectful, I will be responsible, and I'll be a positive role model. With that, I want to thank you for your attention this morning. Uh, I want to wish you a great weekend. Stay warm tomorrow. The wind chill is supposed to be in the single digits tomorrow. So uh, bundle up, make sure you stay warm. And I look forward to seeing you right back here on Creek TV Monday morning. Have a great day, everybody.